So I want to start with the latest numbers that we have out. So, so Rob, I'm going to give this one to you. And sure. I want everybody at home also to kind of take a look at this image that we have in. So this is from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. And it's the latest numbers that are in showing 61.8% of recent high school grads enrolled in college October 2021. So when you take a look at here, you see that drop off that appears to be happening there, Rob. Yeah, yeah, Elizabeth, and this is something that's on the mind of, of deans of admission, college presidents across the country, and really there are two issues at, at stake. You know, 2010, we saw our highest uh, graduating class, so the most populous classes from, from high school graduating in 2010. Since then, it's been on the decline, generally speaking. You'll hear this across higher education, it's called the admission cliff, right? So, so we know that student populations are decreasing overall, but they are increasing in some particular states particularly in the Southwest, California, Texas, and throughout the South, but in the Northeast, as well as the Middle Atlantic states, they're, in, they're declining. So we're seeing some of those things as well. Plus, the second thing is the repercussion of COVID. Some students are simply saying, listen, maybe we should think differently. Maybe college is not for me. Uh, or focusing on some of those certificate program or other things that might be attractive to them move, moving on, uh, literally voting with their feet. So those are the two things crossing the streams that are happening right now. Now, Dr. Nader, what are you seeing at Farmingdale? What we're seeing in Farmingdale is very much what Rob described. We are seeing in the Northeast a dramatic fall off in the number of high school graduates. I'm a little more concerned about the declining share of graduates that are heading to colleges and universities because though it's the case that not everybody needs a college degree, I would reiterate to everyone who's watching today, everyone needs an education. And that can take a variety of forms. It might be a micro-credential, it might be a certificate, it might be something else that will help prepare the student as she or he makes their way uh, into the workplace. So we are concerned about that, uh, not just the fall off in the Northeast. We have weathered that storm well here at Farmingdale, but the demographic change with the share of students selecting college, that may be the residue of COVID. We'll have to wait and see. It's certainly upset uh, some people's decision-making, but we are monitoring that carefully. 